Hello and welcome uh, to this session on gems of geometry. And uh, in this particular session, we are going to deal with another theorem, which says that the ortho center of an acute angled triangle is the in center of its orthic triangle. Now, before we start our discussion on this theorem, let's first understand what is meant by orthic triangle. So, guys, if you have a triangle and you know that there are three altitudes possible. So hence, if I drop a perpendicular from all the three vertices to the opposite sides, so let's say ABC is a triangle, and I drop this AD as perpendicular to BC, and then on this, this is let's say BE is perpendicular to AC, and like that. So I'll draw it once again. So yes, so this is let's say F. So hence three perpendiculars are there or altitudes are there. Then if you join the foot of these three perpendiculars, so D, E, F, E and F, D. So we say triangle E, F, D is an orthic triangle or thick triangle. I hope you understood the concept. See, the definition of orthic triangle is you drop three perpendiculars in a triangle and join the all the three feet of the perpendiculars. The resultant triangle will be called orthic triangle. Now, let us understand this theorem. So, the theorem says the ortho center of an acute angled triangle is the in center of its orthic triangle. Okay. So, in this uh, picture, if you can see, ABC is the given acute angled triangle. and EFT is the uh, the orthic triangle. Now, H happens to be the ortho center where all the three altitudes of triangle ABC are meeting. So I'm highlighting this H. This is the ortho center here. So this is H, and we have to prove that H also happens to be the in center of FDE. Now, what is in center, guys? In center is nothing but point of concurrence. So what is in center? Let's define that. So in center is nothing but point of point of concurrence concurrence or intersection concurrence of all the three internal angle bisector internal angle bisectors of a triangle right we know this already okay so h hap h is also the in center of EFD. That's what we have to prove. So let's try and understand this. So let's try and understand the this particular proof. So now ABC is given as the uh, given triangle and EFD is the orthic triangle. So let's try to prove. So what we have done is we have done some construction. So construction is construction is O is the ortho center sorry o is the circumcenter o is the circumcenter of triangle abc so the moment i do that what happens so uh, and oa dash if you see oa dash is perpendicular to bc this is the construction done so since o is the center and a is a point lying on the circle then then hence we can say angle BOC is equal to angle A, right? Or rather, two times angle A. So why? Because angle subtended, angle subtended at center is equal to twice of angle subtended at circumference. We know this. This is one uh, theorem right so angle boc is twice of angle a and we know that angle boa dash is equal to boa dash is equal to coa dash right right because the perpendicular uh, oa dash will divide angle boc into two equal angles and this must be each of them must be equal to angle a correct so each of them so hence now let me mention that so this is angle a this is angle A. Both are angle A. Clear? So if this is angle A, guys, 
then what do we get this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so can i say this as x and this as sorry this whole as x so you can see x will be equal to 90 degrees minus angle a right by angle sum property if you look closely in triangle OBA dash, OBA dash, so X will be 90 degree and minus angle A by, you can write angle sum property of a triangle. So X is now known. So X is 90 minus angle A. Okay. Now if this is X, so this also is X. Clear. Now if this is angle A and this happens to be 90 degrees, isn't it? E is the foot of the perpendicular so this is 90 minus a this angle angle e b a so i can write angle e b a is also equal to x so this angle is x right similarly in triangle a f c if you see this is definitely 90 degrees so hence this angle here is also x right so angle a c f a C F A C F is also X. So all of these are X. Correct? So you can identify now which all angles are X. Now, if you see angle H F B or B F H is 90 degree and same is equal to angle uh, B D H B D h both are 90 degrees so if you if i draw it these are two 90 degrees right so you can imagine that now you can conclude that b f h d is a cyclic quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral because in cyclic quadrilateral opposite angle sum or opposite angles are supplementary right so b f h d is a cyclic quadrilateral so opposite angles angles are supplementary so hence we can say we can say that b f h d is a cyclic quadrilateral hence i can say angle f b h will be equal to angle f d h f d h and hence this is equal to x why is this it's nothing but angle subtended so angle subtended by an arc on the circumference on the circumference are same isn't it so if you see if you if you imagine a circle like that something like that then hf is subtending angle b and angle d yeah so hence both of them will be x so hence i am writing this this angle is also x similarly if i say e h d c is a cyclic cyclic quadrilateral again why because if you see clearly this is 90 degree and this again is 90 degrees so d angle d and angle e are 90 degrees each so hence what will happen e h d c is a cyclic quadrilateral so you know you can pause and understand this before proceeding so same reason right and both again will be equal to x right oh sorry i have not written the angles as of now so this is now from here i can conclude and this is because of the same reason what opposite angle are supplementary supplementary hence hence this is also cyclic quadrilateral so hence i can say angle e h c e c h which is which happens to be angle you know x is equal to angle e h d e d h rather e d h and both are equal to x so if this is x this also is x what is x so let me use this different color this is x this is also x so if you look very you know look let me zoom out I zoom in sorry so hence if you see uh, there are two two angles which are same 
right this one so let me use a different color so this angle and this angle are both x now what does this mean this means that hd is internal bisector of e d f let me zoom out now i hope you understood so hence we can conclude what can we conclude so let me write in this part so that the figure is with us so hence we can conclude h d is internal bisector of angle f d e f d e right similarly and and uh, and uh, what, what is the value of uh, the angle basically so in this case x is nothing but 90 minus angle a similarly if i have to call um let's say these two angles y if this is y then you will will conclude that this will also will be y and hence you'll see similarly by similar logic similarly h e h e is the angle bisector of angle f e d or d e f where y you will see will be nothing but 90 minus angle b both are same and similarly h f h f is the is the angle bisector of angle which one so hf is the angle bisector of dfe dfe where if i have to use let's say z for these two z so you'll get z is equal to 90 minus angle c correct so hence we see that h also happens to be point of intersection of all the angle bisectors so hence we can say h is in center in center of triangle d e f hence proved hence proved isn't it so what did we prove we prove that p in the ortho center of an acute angle triangle is the in center of its orthic triangle so you can pause this video at times where you do not understand the logic understand it and then proceed okay thank you